Hey everyone, it's Megan with Alder and Nance, and today I wanted to share the new summer collection for Vogue Patterns. But first, I do want to say thank you to everyone that has been commenting and liking my first look pattern videos. And for everyone that has been letting me know that the music has been annoying in these videos. So I am listening, I am cutting out all music, and hopefully you'll be able to understand me a little bit better. But let's go ahead and get down into the lookbook. So the first dress that we have on their lookbook's cover is V1884, which is this princess lined bodice with gathered skirt and then also has hip gores that are gathered too. So this is going to be a really full skirt. It is really cute in this colorway. And then we have this beautiful high-low dress with, it looks like it's going to be a halter neck. I don't know how the back is exactly yet. This is Julio Caesar's V1881 and this dress is just really cute. Then we have the Tom and Linda plait for V1878 in this handkerchief hem style dress and it looks like it's going to have princess seams and it looks like it has a seam down the middle so it might have some shaping there. Then we have Claire Schaefer for V1879 with this really interesting detail of a I forgot what this is called, basque waist, I believe, along with the fisheye darts and the side darts for this little dress. And then we have the V1884 again here. And then we have this bustier style top with skirt for V1893 and for V1890. I'm not sure if this is the top and the skirt or if it's just the skirt, but it looks like it's going to be a little circle skirt. Then we have V1882 and I can't really tell you much about this because it is in a very loud print, but it is a full length skirt. So I guess we'll just take a look at this once we reach it in the actual patterns after we get out of the lookbook. And then we have V1884 again, and this print, I can't tell if it's a different type of skirt, but it is a very similar bodice. Then we have V1883 for this halter neck, crisscross halter neck style dress. And then we have V1882, and is that the same? Yes. Okay, so we can actually take a look at this one and it has the V-neck with an empire waistline and looks like it might have princess seams for the skirt part of it, but it has a spaghetti strap here and then it comes out. So that's definitely going to be interface to keep that shape. But that is really cute and it's going to come in at least two different lengths. Then we have V1888 for this drawstring style dress and then we have V1890 for this outfit with this skirt and then we have the today's fit by Sandra and I'm not going to pronounce her last name I know I'm going to butcher it for 1891 and it looks like this jacket and maybe even the pants we will see we have a couple of men's patterns it looks like we have V1896 here and here so it looks like we're going to have a pants and short pattern and then for v1888 is that same drawstring style but in a top instead of a dress we have that bustier here again and then we have a set of shorts and then we have v1895 and since i'm gonna guess this is for the top so we'll see once we actually get into the patterns then we have their vintage patterns that they're re-releasing and this caftan is V1886, and it is this really pretty caftan with a low back. I really like that. And then we have V1885 for both a short dress and a longer with an empire waistline with a little bow, and it looks like we're going to have a cape here in the back. Then we have some summer wear. It looks like we're going to have a speedo for men's and a couple different board short styles, a one piece, is that the same pattern? Yes, it's the same pattern. So a couple options for bathing suits for one piece. And then we also have this cover up. And then we have the V1883 for that crossover halter neck style dress with, and it looks like it might be a pleated skirt. I don't know. And with all of these lookbooks, you always get to 
go back and see where they have all of their accessories for all of the different outfits. And on the back, we have that one bathing suit again for 1894. So let's go ahead and exit out of here and go back into the patterns and into the summer collection. So we have this halter neck style dress again. And it is a two-tier dress that has a ruffle on the bottom and some gathering here in the back. I'm gonna guess that's elastic there and then it has the spaghetti strap halter neck. But I love this high-low dress. It is really cute. Let's go and check the C notions. So yes, you will need some elastic for the back of this dress. Let's take a look at this handkerchief dress and I can't tell if that's just style line or shaping or what, but it does have princess seams and it does have a zipper down the back. So it is just some style lines because it does show with stitching down the front. And I apologize if you hear my cat, but this is for sizes 6 through 22. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. For sizes 6, a bust of 30 up to a bust of 44 and a hip of 32 up to 46. So that is the different sizes. And if you want to pause, you can go back and see. So this is from size six to 22. And now we are on to V1882, which is this dress again, which has the empire waistline and it does have princess seams, it looks like here. And it has this really interesting neckline with the V-neck that is really pretty. And two different lengths. Has a cute back on them. And yes, it does have the armhole princess seams for both the bodice and for the skirt, along with the Empire Waist. So it looks like the Empire Waist is coming back this year. I've noticed that a whole lot, and then even one of my own patterns has kind of a empire waist, but still has a regular waistline. And off to this Basque waist style dress, and it is a bias cut A-line dress. Okay. And it looks like Vogue might need to better press their darts on here because it's got the little bubblies here. But it does have the Basque waist and has, oh, I like that detail along the back, the V back, and then has a invisible zipper. So that is really interesting, I like that. And this one comes in sizes six through 22 also for V1879. And here's that halter neck, crisscross halter neck dress. And it looks like it might actually have a couple of options for the skirt, maybe. No, it doesn't. It's all a big circle skirt dress with two different lengths. So that's different. I like them both. And then this dress from the cover again. So it's a really interesting. Oh, it's not just on the hips. It does the two tiers in the back. That's definitely different. I like that. So you have more of a smoother front and then it starts getting a little bit bigger and poofier from your hips around to the back. Huh. Definitely different. It's cute though. And then we have some of their vintage patterns, which is this Empire Waist. And this is from 1966 in two different styles. Okay, and it looks like it has a wrap that goes right underneath the bust. So like a belt style wrap and leaves the back of it open. So that's different. And this is for sizes six through 24. That is really cute. And here is the caftan. So it has the little wrap right there that goes at your waist to tie it in. Definitely different, but I really like it. 
And these caftan style dresses are really starting to come back too from what I've noticed on TikTok. And then B1888 is this loose fitting pullover, has a V-neck, ruch bodice, bias neck, armhole facings, dropped shoulder, front ties, elastic waist, and length variation. So it does come with the top and also with the shorter dress. So it's different. I like it. I like the top. And this comes in sizes 6 through 22 also. And let's take a look at this one. So we have the bustier and possibly a skirt and shorts. So once we get to the line drawing, we'll be able to tell a little bit more. So yes, you do get the bustier, the shorts, and also the skirt. And all three of these patterns are really cute. I would not mind making this little bustier. But my question is, is how does this close? So let's see. It is a zipper, so you'll need a separating zipper for the top. I wonder if you can change that out and do hook and eyes with that. Okay, and then we have 1890 for this and let's get to the line drawings real quick so we know and we are just looking at the skirts so it just looks like it's a circle skirt pattern with a yeah flared skirt have contoured waistband and button closure fly zipper side front pockets front and back unpressed pleats okay And we have the jacket and pants. So we have the beach cover up or a jacket. So it could be either or. And then it comes with the harem pants, I believe is what these are called as harem pants. Does it say here? Pull on pants. Nope. So, and this one comes from sizes A through J. How does that work? Today's fit A through J. So, 32 through 55 for the bust and a hip of 34 through 57. So, this is the first time that I've seen a pattern that comes in large options all in one size range or size run and not two different sets of patterns. So that's the largest one I've ever seen so far. And then we have the bathing suit. A couple different options or two different options for the bathing suit. So we have this little keyhole here, or we have the keyhole down, and then with the ruching coming from the center or from the sides. And then the back of this one has a little bit of ruching right there in the center too. And this one comes in sizes eight through 16, and then 18 through 26. And then we have the men's swimsuits and tank top. So got a couple different Board shorts, speedo style, and then I'm going to guess we also get the little white tee that also goes along with it. And this one comes in sizes extra small through 2XL. And then we have a couple of men's patterns, which is the men's shorts and pants for this one. So you have the shorts here and pants. So not bad in sizes 36 through 40 and then 40 through 46. I'm not real good with men's sizing so men if you're watching let me know if that's a decent size range for you guys. And then we have the shirt shorts and pants for this one. 
So I was wrong. It is the shorts or the pants and the shirt for this one. And then it's got, it's not a full button down top, but it is a pullover top and has a set of shorts here. So you have two different styles of shirts and then different bottoms. And this is size 34 through 40 and then 40 through 46. And that is all of the Vogue patterns, it looks like. So, all right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. I promise no music from now on on these videos. The only time that I'll ever include music in the future is on my actual pattern making videos whenever I'm not talking. I might add a little bit of music during those parts only. So, all right, guys, if you like this, leave me a comment down below which one was your favorite pattern. I would have to say mine is this high-low dress. This is my absolute favorite one, and I will see you guys next week.